Hello again guys, Pompey Picker back again. So today I've got this beautiful old uh, sash lock. Uh, it's a non-curtain type uh, mortise lock. And what we've got at the top here is, it says improved to lever, just about make out. And on the bottom, I think that says reversible bolts, but I'm not too sure that this plate is is uh, part of this original, is originally part of this lock. I think it may have been added because I've opened this up and uh, there are four levers in there, um, which was quite surprising. So, um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's have a little play with it and see what, see what we can do. Uh, I've come up with a... I've come up with a pretty crude tension tool and because what we've got on the back plate of this lock is some warding which stops the tension tool going all the way to the back if it was just a straight uh, upstand. So I had to sort of cut a notch out of the upstand to create sort of a, a bent upstand. And to be fair this upstand is a little bit too short where I'm only just catching the bolt so um, this could be uh, could be a little bit of a tricky pick, so I'm just going to uh, see if we can get a better view. If I can get the uh, camera to play games. Okay, uh, we'll try that. So yeah, as I say, um, the upstand only just catches uh, the bolt, so we're going with a real basic. Uh, type wire, nice and thick, solid wire, and that I can get it in, which is the tricky part. So, I'm just going to put the tension tool all the way to the back and see, see what we can do. So, it's only just catching the bolt, so I may just slip off a few times and uh, might have to start again. But let's uh, just work our way through the, through the lever pack. over to pick that back lever up because of the warding. And uh, it's, it might have just slipped off the bolt there, so we'll start again. As you see, the bolt's not fully thrown because, uh, because my tension is a little bit too short. So I'll have to uh, go in with the longer wire and just throw that all the way. And there we go. So let's have a little look inside, shall we? Let's see what we've got. So it's a beautiful old lock. Um, slotted screws, so you can tell it's... Uh, it's uh, quite old. Very well made, very well made lock. If I can just prise that off a bit. We're probably going to lose some bits and pieces with springs and so on, but uh, yeah, let's just have a little look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah. 
So um, you see the warding at the back that was keeping the tension, that would keep a, a standard tension off of the off of the bolt. Hence why I've had to uh, create that little leg that just drops in around there. Right, once the bolt, uh, the bolt's been thrown, so I'd have to do it from that side. But yeah, it just drops in past that warding and uh, gets onto the bolt. Yeah, let's have a little look at the uh, little look at the levers. First time I've taken these out, so nice thick, chunky, chunky levers. That's lever one. Lever two seems to be a lot thinner, which is odd. And what? Lever three. There's no sort of false gates in them, but that's uh, that's slightly thicker than lever two, which is strange. I would say. Possibly a handmade lock, maybe, I'm not sure. And lever four, again, that's a, a thin lever. But, um, absolutely beautiful little thing. So yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, that's the bolt, the bolt, uh, the bolt action. As you can see with my tensioner, just about just about catching the bolt to throw it, not quite all the way. It needs to sit right up inside that little notch there, but and then I threw it the rest of the way with the wire. So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Stay safe, everyone, and uh, I'll speak to you soon.